I've been working in what uh, turns out to be nanotechnology for the last 25 years. What brought me to that uh, was just a you know, fascination with uh, physics and, uh, and curiosity. Curiosity is, I think, the main driving force for, for, for humanity. I think without that, we'll be still in the caves. The quantum cascade lasers are, in fact, uh, by far the best uh, illustration of the success uh, of quantum theory. And you can see through uh, packaging, you can see through uh, even more uh, hermetic enclosures, uh, ceramic, uh, you know, uh, solid objects uh, and see what's inside. For instance, in screening the, the mail um, uh, at the post office stations, uh, in Japan it, it actually is already used uh, for, for that purposes. This, this particular property of, uh, of terahertz radiation allows also uh, fast inspection of uh, integrated circuits uh, and, and troubleshooting because you, you don't have to actually break up the packaging. You can, you can in fact uh, see what's inside. Pharmaceutical security, information and communication technologies are some of the prime examples of where this terahertz radiation could be. The location of the laboratory, which is uh, in the so-called uh, meteorology space of Quantum Nano Center, is in the common area between Waterloo Institute uh, uh, for Nanotechnology and uh, Institute for Quantum Computing, for, for good reasons, because in fact the, the capability of this lab will be able to help projects on both ends.